Hello, welcome to Itasca Consulting Limited tutorial videos for using Insight. In every video, you will get an overview of the software. You can download the demonstration version or the full version of the software at itasca.co.uk. Insight should already be installed on your computer. You should also be able to find a shortcut on your desktop or go to program files slash itasca slash insight. It's recommended that you copy training files to a training directory and also ensure that you have a dongle inserted in your computer with the relevant permissions. This tutorial video will be about setting processing properties in an inside project. As you can see in this project, we already loaded receivers information and asked about data. To see how to load in us receivers information and RC bug data, please go to the relevant tutorial video. In this project, the tutorial real folder that will be used is the data management and configuration tutorial. So now, as the receivers information and RC bug data has been loaded, we will now set up the processing properties. So you have to go to project, then click on processing properties or you could also click on the processing settings that's in the Google visualize bar in the Google button bar now first we'll use the auto picking tab you'll have to choose RMS amplitude then check the boxes to allow P wave and S wave auto picking you have to make sure that you use the maximum pick in the auto pick function for P wave auto picking and for S wave, you have to use the first pick in the auto pick function. The back window length should be set as 200, the front window length at 20, the picking threshold as 5, and the minimum pick to pick amplitude as 0 0.001. Now for the S wave. You have to choose as back window length 50, front window length 15, picking threshold 5, and minimum pick to pick amplitude 0.002. Then you can left click on channel processing. You have to check the boxes for filtering automatically on reading and filtering using sensor syntax. Then you click on the locator tab and as inversion algorithm you can choose simplex into Jiga team and then homogeneous isotropic as the velocity structure. You have to select the phases as pure wave arrivals only, which is this one. And you have to make sure that the distance units are in meters and the working time units in milliseconds. Now, the minimum P wave arrivals should be set to 4 and the minimum S wave arrivals to 0, as they will not be used in this tutorial. And the maximum residual should be set to 0.8. The starting position should be the centroid of the array as in here. And you should check the box to calculate automatic source parameters. Now you have to click on the settings button that's next to simplicity Giga algorithm. You have to make sure that the P with an S wave both wave one, the LP norm is one. And you should allow SPIC to be used without the box to be unchecked. And you should not check the boxes for using P or S source vectors and also leave the box unchecked to restrict the XY plane. The maximum angular residual should be set to 15. And the minimum P and S source vectors should be set to 1. You should also fill in the Kaiga algorithm only values as shown here, tolerance 1. 
Step size L.1, maximum iterations as 1. You should set the simplest algorithm only to arrange to open 1 and the stop size to 0. You should also ensure the perform dev constraint collision box is unchecked so the other values in that section will not apply. Then you click on OK and return to the processing properties dialog screen. Now you should left click on the settings button next to the velocity structure that we chose to be homogeneous isotropic. And then you have to set the pure velocity to 5970, the S wave velocity to 3460, the attenuation QP value to 200, and the QS value to 100. You should left click on OK and return to the processing property windows where you also click on OK to return to the data visualizer window. So this is the end of this tutorial. Thank you for listening. If you are unable to produce the same results as in this video, feel free to contact Itasca and also tell them what type of computer you are using. Thank you.